Welcome back to the channel. It is that time to retire Deli Varga. It's been a long time coming, and let's take a look at the top of the table. All right, first match, Sim, 3-0, easy one. Deli Varga is out, so hopefully on his aggregate score will come through, and we do not. 2-1, bounced out the EFL Cup. Hopefully, we'll still win some other silverware. And the FA Cup now against Middlesbrough, and a great victory, 3-0. Now the North London Derby, Spurs versus Arsenal, and we get the victory, 2-1. No surprise. Roma in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, a 2-1 victory once again, Martinelli and Bukayo Saka. Now Everton ends up defeating us, which might look bad in the race for the PL title. 3-1 in the Emirates FA Cup, no surprise. And there we are, dropping to fourth after that loss. We gotta have to pick it up here. Premier League, another victory, 2-0 on Manchester City, no surprise. And Roma, 3-1 on the aggregate. Millwall, Arsenal, 4-1 one defeat from Millwall they have to play a lot better than that if they want to beat us and here we go Sweden versus Hungary a 1-1 draw and Deli Volga is still not playing in any of these matches he tore his ACL and this is a look at the standings Finland a 1-1 draw once again here we go Arsenal sitting in fourth definitely needing to push forward and get this victory here a draw with a top leader in the Premier League Newcastle United but of course Mikel Arteta winning manager of the month and it looks like Deli Volga sends his congratulations to the gaffer a 2-2 draw against Inter in the semis and now we're looking to make something happen here 3-2 on the aggregate 1-0 a great Great goal there for Martinelli, making sure we advance. And on the Emirates FA Cup, look at that. 5-4 victory. No surprise. That's the way it's done. And it is that time. Bayern Leverkusen in the semifinals of the Champions League. A great German side. Hopefully, we get the victory. 2-0. Easy. And this is the table of the Premier League. Arsenal versus Liverpool for all the marbles here. And of course, Usman Dembele puts one on us in the 83rd minute. Now, here we go. 3-1 on the aggregate. So, that's an automatic advancement into the next one. And here's Deli Varga getting ready. A beautiful spot kick there on Aaron Ramsdale, making sure he can come back and impact the game as soon as he touches down. And here's the fourth one all the way into the back of the net. And I think we might have some free kicks coming up as well. Deli Varga is a set piece specialist and he prides himself in hitting all his shots. Oh, but doing a crossbar challenge it looks. And another one. And now here is the return of Deli Varga. I'll see everybody out there when it's time. And coming on the pitch now for Mikel Arteta's Arsenal side. It's Deli Varga, the deadly number nine, ready to score a goal in this match. Down one nil against Leicester City. Not a position we should be in. We'll see how it goes. And here he is in the defensive game, beautifully getting involved there, needing to make a play. And let's see what Leicester City wants to do with the ball. Pepe, a good move, but Kiwar up to Declan Rice. Now Deli Varga looking to make something happen. Slowing it down, using his pace. And whoa, a meaty challenge there, and they will call it. On the run now, Deli Varga looking for the goal, and he could get one here. Left-footed finish right into the back of the net. That is the way it's done. Deli Varga makes sure to come out here, show up and show out for the Arsenal faithful. It's good to see him back on the pitch. Let's see a replay of that play. He goes all the way through using that pace, great motion, and a fluid shot with the left foot. Right past Onana, I'm pretty sure that is in net, and a great finish for Deli Varga. Now Leicester City in the attack. They're looking for the goal now to get the lead. Dewsbury Hall with the shot, and Aaron Ramsdale. What a great save on that play, making sure nobody can get through on him. That's exactly what we're looking for. And let's see if they can do something here now once again. Looking for the same look, kicking it back to Kirkes. And Gabriel with a great challenge in. Jorginho gets the ball out to Deli Varga. And that is the game in the book. 1-1, that's the way it's done. Deli Varga finally back on that pitch. But here we go. It's now time for the Emirates FA Cup, Manchester City versus Arsenal. I'll see everybody out there when it's time. A beautiful match, a beautiful place to play. Deli Varga comes out here looking to succeed once again. Last time out, we know he came out there and secured the draw for Arsenal. But look at Haaland in the attack already, looking to make a move. But Kiwar and Haaland going at it now. Doyle back to Haaland, looking for the shot. And Kiwar with a great defensive play. A touch from Deli Varga. Looking for the pass up to Bukal Saka, and there it is. Deli Varga in the attack now. Running it with pace, maybe looking for a shot here. We'll see a power shot, and oh, narrowly missing to the left side of the net. In the attack now, Erling Haaland. We know he can score goals, and he might do that right here. Goes in with the left foot, and a beautiful finish right past Aaron Ramsdale. But Martinelli now 
up to Deli Varga, looking to make a play, but he stays on it. No surprise, and a great finish into the back of the net from Deli Varga. Left-footed finish, deadly Deli Varga strikes once again. This match is 3-2, and look at this excellent finish, staying on the ball and finishing through with that left foot. Now chewing many up to Martinelli. Deli Varga with the ball on his boot, looking to make a play happen here. Slowing it down, going back inside to the right. Once again with a fake shot, cuts it back, holding the ball on the boot, and he moves it outside. Back inside now, looking for a pass once again. Deli Varga to Martinelli. Into Kiwad. Kiwad into Odegaard, and Odegaard lets it go, and a great finish into the back of the net. Martin Odegaard makes this one 3-3. Even Steven on the day. A great finish and even better ball movement in passing from the Arsenal Booners. We like to see it here. It's going to be very sad to see Deli Varga go, but no surprise, he's leaving his mark on this game. And Martinelli now with the ball. We've seen it one too many times. Deli Varga looking to get to the outside, and he might. A quick ball roll loses his man. And now looking for the finish here. Left footed once again, and a beautiful shot straight into the back of the net for Deli Varga. It could be all over. One more goal for the Arsenal faithful spells disaster for Manchester City. We shall find out if they can get it done, but if they can't, we are the FA Cup champions. A great move from Deli Varga. Pace, speed, and accuracy on the shot. No surprise, he gets it done once again. Phil Foden on the attack, and Aranu with a great defensive play. Now Deli Varga moving it with pace and speed. Number nine on his back for a reason. We'll find out what he can do. Quick ball roll, and he's looking for something flashy. A chip shot almost. Something cheeky, but no luck. And Deli Varga now looking for the cross in. Set piece specialist, and he finds a head. It's Odegaard, and the ball's in the back of the net. Just like that, it's 5-3 on the day. And it's all over here at Wembley. Wembley has witnessed greatness today. Beautiful cross inside. It was an own goal, but nothing you can stop. Odegaard, beautiful headed ball in, and Ederson just could not make the play. It's a time where you have to cherish the moments that you're in. Not many teams get to win these type of battles, especially against a great team like Manchester City. Now that Arsenal have won the FA Cup, they will set their sights on the Champions League final. I'm not too sure exactly who will be playing against, but I know it's going to be a historic match for Deli Varga and Arsenal. They've won the FA Cup, the Premier League, the Carabao Cup last season, and now the Champions League is all that remains. Now we have to go out here, make sure we play to the top of our ability, and I'm gonna let them enjoy that celebration. We've worked so hard to get to this point. Deli Varga tearing his ACL out five months, and his team still able to get here for the Emirates FA Cup. It's amazing. Honestly, I had no idea we were gonna win any silverware this season, and I'm very happy that we did. It was a hard fought season. Definitely did not win the Premier League, but hey, sometimes you have to look at the wins and not your losses. You learn from your losses, and that's how we got to this point right here. We learned from those losses, and now we're back at the top of the table. And in the final, it'll be Paris Saint-Germain. We will see how Deli Varga performs, and here is a quick look at the team. Yep, bench, and I'll see everybody out there. It's that time now, Deli Varga versus Mbappe. Also have a few other names out there that I cannot remember at this moment, but I know they are big names. They got Stones for sure. I'm pretty sure they have Trent Alexander-Arnold on the back line. And Stones with a ball movement inside here. We're looking to make something happen. Ugarte, Mbappe with the ball in his boot, and we need a defensive play. Edwards on the shot, and a great save from Levimenchenko. Gabriel now with the ball on his boot. Antonio possessing it. Miguel, a pass inside Deli Varga. Quick ball roll, now looking for a move and a beautiful rainbow flick, looking for the shot and a goal into the back of the net for Deli Varga. You cannot touch this man. When he is in his zone, you best pack your bag because you are going home, that's for sure. A beautiful rainbow flick, touching it off that left foot we know him for. He's got a better left foot than Messi at this point. And a great challenge from Antonio. At this point now, the 90th minute, Bukal Saka looks for a play, Odegaard on it, and Deli Varga looks to get another goal, but no luck. Headed away from Stones, and I think that will be the end of this match. Ugarte tried going for something there, but no luck. And here we go, the celebration 
for the new Champions League winners. Arsenal. When is the last time we saw a Champions League winner from the Premier League? 2018? I'm not sure if that Chelsea side won the Premier League, but let me know down below. Uh, excuse me, the Champions League. If they won the Champions League, let me know down below. But look at the celebrations here. It means so much to all these players to be able to win the FA Cup and then come right back out here and win the Champions League final. Me personally, I would rather win a Champions League final than a Premier League title, given that how many teams are in the Champions League. But I like it though. A beautiful performance from Chuameni, the captain this match. It should have been Deli Varga, but he had some time away. You cannot doubt his abilities for sure. But here goes the trophy lift, and there it is. Deli Varga and Chuameni, the talisman of this match. Only Deli Varga, though, could score one against this illustrious PSG side. Had all the top ballers, all the top players, and he still gets it done on the night. Celebrations keep going on here, and I'm pretty sure they're not going to stop anytime soon. Get the champagne, the Dom Perignon. We going crazy at the club tonight. I'm not sure exactly where we're at. I think we're at Metropolitania or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what arena that is, but I know somebody down below knows what I'm talking about. A great place to play and a great performance from Arsenal tonight. To beat Paris Saint-Germain is a huge feat and Deli Varga is now in that club. Looking for the trophy shot now, Arsenal, UEFA Champions League champions. That's the way it's done. Hard fought all the way to the end. And hopefully, these celebrations here, look at them. It's that time to see how many trophies we won, how many we didn't get. And we'll recap this whole season and his whole career before this episode is over. Let's see though, we got the DJ up there. We are in North London going through the streets right past the arena. Hopefully everybody enjoyed this episode because I really enjoyed this new style. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it and want to see some more content like this as well. But there we go, end of the season. Did not win much. We won the FA Cup and the Champions League. But here we go, Arsenal are UEFA Champions League winners and there is Deli Varga looking fire with the cup right next to him. And here we go. I did say we was gonna have some Hungarian national matches here at the end, and it is that time. A match against Belgium. We'll see how it turns out for him, and hopefully it's not too much of a thrashing. Deli Varga now making his debut back for the Hungarian national team. So we hope we can just keep prevailing forward and look to get some goals today. Openda, the player to watch for the Belgium side, and we will make sure that we look out for him. Deli Varga practicing those free kicks before this match, looking to hit the shot on the mark. We'll find out if he can after the ref. And stepping up to the shot now, Deli Varga lets it fly. A lot of power. Oh, and somebody in that first row definitely will be needing to see their local dentist. Might be missing a few front teeth. That ball coming off the boot with a lot of pace and a lot of power. But here we go. In the attack, the Belgium side once again moving it in. Lavia, good move to Openda, the player to watch today, and a good pass, slotted back inside, and a great finish from the Belgium national team. This is not the type of performance you want to see from the Hungarian side. This match right here could spell disaster. The Belgium team today winning could be horrible for the Hungarian team. I'm pretty sure they are number one, but a loss today would put the Belgium side in second place right behind them. We whooped this team last time we played them, but it looks like Duranville is coming to play once again. Jeremy Doku, a Belgian player that you might not have known about in a nasty challenge from Deli Varga, getting caught in right there and getting that yellow card. What would Deli Varga's career be without a yellow card? And here we go, the Cooper moves it back inside to Openda. Duranville already has one today and he's looking for a second, a slotted back pass. And our goalkeeper could not get it done. I'm definitely glad I am retiring Deli Varga. It's been an amazing career, and that possibly was his last match he ever will play in. Here's a quick recap. Look at his stats on FCSB. 22 men of the matches, 13 team of the week, three player of the months. Here he goes at Borussia Dortmund. We might have forgot about this era of his, but I mean, he was still on fire. 
Then here goes the first season at Arsenal. 40 man of the matches. Crazy. And here is his last season where he won the player of the year, the Ballon d'Or. A sad time. And Deli Varga is now retiring, looking for the coaching position at Middlesbrough. Let me know. Do we want to see a coach career now from oh, Deli Varga? Do we want to see a new player career mode? I'm up to do a new player career mode, me personally. That's really what I want to do. All right, y'all. I'm going to make this quick. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Like if you like. Subscribe for more.